Good morning, students. My name is Prithvi Mal Sahu. So today we are going to discuss about the timing diagram of microcode means A zero eight five microprocessor instruction. So in previous class we have discussed about <coughs> the timing diagram for this uh, for different type of machine cycle. But today we are going to discuss about the timing diagram for A zero eight five instruction. So first we will discuss about the move instruction. For example, move B comma C. So here the occur is move occur and is B and C. So the occur move is present in two thousand memory locations. Suppose. So only. Four testing is required for this instruction, and thus we need four key steps for the timing diagram. For the of course stage, the I/O that is I/O by N bar that is uh, it is a low acid signal which value is zero, S bar is one, S zero is one. The timing diagram for move instruction is shown above. In a four phase, that is T1 to T4 T states, the lower bit of address where of four is stored, that is zero zero, and higher bit of address where of four is stored, that is T equal to. Next, A L E, that is address that enable. It provides the signal for multiplex address and data bus. Only in T1, it used as address bus to fetch lower bit of address. Otherwise, it will be used as data bus. Next, RB that is low acid signal. The signal is one in T1 and T4. As no data is needed by the microprocessor, signal is zero in T2 and T3. Because here the data is read by microprocessor. Next, WR. It is also one of the active low signal. The signal is one throughout. No data is written by the microprocessor. So it is one throughout the instruction, means throughout the machine cycle. But no data is written by the microprocessor because it is a read operation. I O by M by is also one active low signal. Signal is one in two of the machine cycle because the operation is performing on memory. Here S zero and S one both are one in case of of course fetching. So this is all about the move instruction of A zero eight five microprocessor. Next is next case for The timing diagram for A zero eight five instruction in D I. For example, in D I B comma forty five. Here, of course, is in D I. Of course, is B. B is the destination register, and forty five is the source data which needs to be transferred to the register. Forty-five data will be stored in the B register. The four phase will be saved in all the instruction. Only the read instruction of the four needs to be added in the successive P step. For the four phase, the I/O by M bar that is active low signal is zero. S one is one. S zero is also one. Also, four P state will be required to fetch the of four from memory. For the of four read, the higher by M bar that is active low signal is zero, S one is one, and S zero is zero. Also, only three P state will be required to read the data from memory.
So NDI disturbs are consist of two messaging cycles. One is upper fetching, second one is memory read messaging cycle. So first of all, we will discuss about upper fetch messaging cycle. So this diagram is the timing diagram for NDI instruction. So let us discuss about the diagram. First is of code phase, that means P1 to P4 to P state. 00 is the lower bit of address where of code is stored, and 20 is the higher bit of address where of code is stored. ALE provides signal for multiplex address and data bus. Only in P1, it is used as address bus to face the lower bit of address otherwise it will be used as data bus next rd is a active flow signal the signal is one in p1 and p4 t state and no data is read by the microprocessor signal is zero in p2 and p3 data is read by the microprocessor Next, double R, that is low active signal. Signal is 1 throughout the instrument messaging cycle. No data is written by the microprocessor. Next, IO by M bus is also one active low signal. Signal is 0 in throughout the messaging cycle. Operation is performing on memory. S0 and S1 signal. It is 1 in P1 to P4 state as to phase the upcode from the memory. Next question cycle is upcode read or memory read question cycle that is from P5 to P7 P state. Here 0 1 is the lower bit of address where data is stored and 40 is the higher bit of address where data is stored. ALE that is address that enable to write the signal for multiplex address and data bus. Only in T5 it is used as address bus to fetch the lower bit of address. Otherwise, it will be used as data bus. Next, RD that is low active signal. Signal is 1 in P5 as no data is read by the microprocessor. Signal is 0 in P6 and P7 as data is read by the microprocessor. Next, double R, that is low active signal. The signal is 1 throughout the messaging cycle. No data is written by the microprocessor. Next, IO by M bar, that is also active low signal. Signal is 0 in throughout the messaging cycle. Operation is performing on memory. Next, S0, the signal is 0 in throughout the machine cycle and operation is performing on memory to read the data to the file. Next, S1, the signal is 1 throughout the machine cycle but operation is performing on memory to read the data to the file. So, S0 is 0 and S1 is 1. So, this is all about the instruction MDI. So, MDI instruction consists of two messaging cycles. One is upper phase, second one is memory read. Upper phase is from P1 to P4 state and memory read is from P5 to P7 
this step. So next is NIST case for the timing diagram for A085 microprocessor instruction LDA. So LDA instruction consists of four test, sorry, four lesson cycles. First one is appropriate, second and third one is memory read, and fourth one is memory write. So first of all, we have to discuss about appropriate. So in appropriate, our first is state, as it is a memory operation, I O by M bar is low, that is zero. As it is a four phase operation, S0 and S1 are 1, that is high. ALE is high, that is also 1. The four 8 bit address are always the address bus. And ALE is high, the lower 8 bit, that is A0 to A7, act as address bus. In P2 state, as ALE is low, that is 0. The lower 8 bit address that is AB0 to AB7 act as data bus. Then in P3 state, the opcode is read by the microprocessor and places the opcode into the instruction register. Next, in P4 state, the RB bar becomes high, that is 1, and instruction is executed immediately. So, this is all about a portrait. Next is memory read. So, in memory read, lesson cycle, first, in first is state, as it is a memory operation, I by M bar is low, that is 0. As it is read operation, S0 is low and S1 is high, ALE is high, the upper 8 bit address bus are always address bus and as ALE is high, the lower 80 to 87 act as address bus for first step. For second state of memory read lesson cycle, ALE goes low, the memory specified by the address bus the data which is present in the memory location is loaded into AB0 to AB7. RB bar signal is low. For third P state, the microprocessor reads the operand and after some time, RB bar goes high and memory location is redoubled. Next, the machine cycle is memory write machine cycle. In first P state, as it is memory write, means memory operation, I by M bar is low. As it is write operation, S0 is high, S1 is low, ALE is high. The upper 8 bit address is always address bus. The lower 8 bit act as address bus for fast 3 to state. RB bar and WR bar both are high. For next is state, as LD signal goes low, the lower 8 bit address AB0 to AB7 act as data bus and the specified data present in accumulator is loaded into AB0 to AB7. And double R bar goes low in this P state. Next P state the data present in accumulator is stored in memory location specified by the operand and after some time double R bar goes high. So this is all about the LDI instruction, LDA instruction. So LDA instruction consists of four machine cycles. First is a four page. Second and third is say that is memory read machine cycle and fourth one is memory write machine cycle. So I hope you are understanding the video and also the timing diagram. Thank you.